will break my leg and put me behind a Cuban hospital to get shot dead because they don't have good health care. Holy shit, look at this. New reports are saying that the U.S. has uh, deployed troops along the Syria-Turkish border here. It's, a, it's another World War Three update, guys, you know? Another day and, uh, you know, another chance for the globalists to just... Uh, pound us right in the ass. It's 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 what they do every freaking day. So, the U.S. has uh decided to deploy troops, according to reports. Um, it, it, apparently this is in response to uh, Syria striking and killing twenty uh, U.S.-backed Kurdish fighters, uh, the good old Kurds, which really, I mean, good old Kurds. They you know they've been screwed so many times. Uh, these guys are just fighters. But yeah, another is another update. Another we've been talking about North Korea, right? And uh, North Korea is still a tinderbox. I think China just gave out a red line saying, you know, that they're willing to defend themselves against anybody. Which is, I don't know why you'd even come out and say that. Like, yeah, we we get it. Same. Like what? Every other leader is like, yeah. Um, someone attacks us, we'll attack them too. Like, what? <laughs> is this news? Like, what? It's just more rhetoric. It's more fuel into the fire. Um, but, you know, a uh, different part of the world right now, which uh, many people have also said could be the start of World War Three. the location is Syria. Um, and that's just because, you know, uh, B Bashar al-Assad is uh, backed by Russia. And uh, the U.S. and Russia just, our, our ties right now have extremely deteriorated as of late. Now, many say that uh, just, you know, the beginning of this was probably Crimea, but the beginning with uh, Syria was the fact that, um, you know, uh, Trump decided to launch Tomahawk cruise missiles from U.S. naval destroyers um, at an airfield because of a supposed chemical attack, which is it should be common knowledge by now that that wasn't real, that, you know, that wasn't sarin gas, that wasn't launched by Assad, he was winning, why would he do it? Makes no logical sense whatsoever. And now people are like, well... It, it might have been U.S.-backed rebels that did that. Oh, really? Oh, re just like back in 2013? Wow. My God. What a what a coinky dink. My, why did I even say that word? Jesus. You see what the globalists do to me? They, oh, my gosh. I can't handle it. But, yeah, so basically we got uh, U.S. and, and Russia and, and uh, Syria, Iran. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, also in that part of the world... We had uh, Iran and the U.S. Navy uh, get into a little tussle. Not really a tussle. There wasn't any, any shots fired or anything. I think a U.S. Naval destroyer fired a uh, warning flare. Uh, but, you know, these encounters with these Iranian fest tech boats, they, they happen, it seems like, on a monthly basis over there in the Persian Gulf. Now, see, we with this U.S. troop deployment, it's just, you, you know, North Korea is already, it's already gone to shit. That situation, that crisis over there, the lines are getting drawn deeper and deeper for the next world war, right? And, and this, the antics that are going on over in Syria just aren't helping. The globalists are pushing this faster and faster, it seems. This is this has become a very real threat, you know? This is And I think people are waking up a little bit to it, uh, but they're not waking up to... You know, seeing the the sh shadow government uh, that's you know controlling this, um, a new Fox News poll. <coughs> Fox News, Jesus, um, that's another discussion, man. They're going downhill. But a new Fox News poll put like something fifty three percent of of registered voters that they polled said that um that, you know dealing with North Korea uh, militarily w was the way to go. And um you know you can uh, debate the merits to that, but like. It's just like okay, well, more than half of you is are fine with striking North Korea, uh, almost guaranteeing the millions of South Koreans that would die uh, in such an event, and, and and now you got the Syria situation. That's I mean it's been going on, but now the U.S. is deploying troops on the Syrian Turkish borders. There's, there's reports that uh, Syria that uh, the United States has also uh, got troops in Jordan ready to invade. And it, it, Russia's just not going to sit by. This That's not what they're there to do. Now, the, the spark is going to happen. It's going to happen. The spark that leads to World War III, it, it's, it, you know, it's imminent. All right? It, and it's... Everyone's talking about how peace is on the table. 
you know, especially with North Korea. But then they followed up with uh, very heavy, heavy military arced rhetoric. And it makes you think, um, all right, well, everyone's talking about peace. And it, these peaceful talks, uh, it they're not, hey, let's sit down at, you know, in a table with uh, North Korea and see how they're doing. It's, hey, let's impose ridiculous sanctions on them, which, I mean, I'm, I'm totally for sanctioning North Korea. But th- in their mind, ridiculous sanctions that, you know, good old Kimmy boy, who, as, as we've seen, he's not going to play along. All right, he's not. He's, he is a crazed man, but he's perfect, a perfect pawn for these globalists to, to, to use to spark World War III. And, you know, when you've got China, Russia, the United States, South Korea, Japan, North Korea, all within like 300 mile radius of each other. And then um, in the Middle East, U.S., Russia, Syria, Iran, Israel, I mean, toss a stone and, and people are going to start sh- shooting off missiles. You know, that's how that's how crazy it's getting. So just like any other day, guys, we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled on this situation because because they think we're fucking stupid. I mean, they I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. They think we're fucking stupid. All right? This is that's not us. This this situation's coming to a head, boys and girls. This is getting crazy. And I mean, did I mention that they think we're fucking stupid? <laughs>